Hey dudes, it's me, uh, the Internet Truth Seeker. Now, I'm here with a video that is truth seeking. Now, um, my um, I'm just gonna be looking around on the internet. Which one's better? Like, I'm not gonna be on YouTube because I don't want to get like copyrighted, uh, copyright um, strike or something like that. So, uh, I'm just gonna type in Xbox V S PlayStation Five. Now, since Xbox Series X is a really long thing to say and spell and crap like that, I'm just gonna put this up. Like, okay. Now, if you look around, like, okay, I'm gonna look at these questions people always ask. What is better, PS5 or Xbox? And it says, well, and it says when it comes to the processor, the Xbox Series X is slightly more powerful than PlayStation 5. Though the distance doesn't have much impact on the gaming experience, the new Xbox's processor or CPU can go up to marginally faster clock speeds at 3.8 gigahertz compared to the PS5's 3.5 gigahertz. Now, if you really think about it, PlayStation is not actually really, uh, it's not, uh, PlayStation 5 is, uh, and Xbox, like, which one's better? Like, come on, dudes, like, seriously. So, like, some of you are gonna be, like, so with me, it's just gonna be like, okay, my opinion is, like, the, my opinion, sorry, this stream recorder records background sounds, too. Uh, but it has, it might, you might hear some wind, I'm outside so it can be quieter, but, whatever. But, uh, if, whenever it comes to, like, Xbox, like, which one's better, PS5 or Xbox Series X, or S, it really doesn't matter. Like, I mean, it really doesn't, like, the kind of, like, my opinion is the, X, is the PlayStation 5. I've never played, I don't have PlayStation, I have three Xboxes. One is an old, like, the original type, and one's the Xbox 360 Slim, and another one's the Xbox One S. I don't, I'm not, I'm thinking about getting some, like, a PlayStation 5. My opinion, my opinion is, uh, about, uh, it's my opinion, like, you guys, you can have your own, like, I know some of you, some Xbox, I'm just wanting to move away from Xbox for a while to see what's different. Now... I know there's probably gonna be quite a few differences, but still, like, I just want to move away. I just want to see, just try something else new. I talked about this with my cousin, and like he says, fair enough. And I'm like, okay, like that's cool. And but like they're both pretty good. Like 3.5 gigahertz is pretty good. 3.5. I don't. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna search up what. I mean, that, it sounds good to me. Giga hertz. Okay. Meaning. Now, one bazillion. Uh, oh, one bazillion. Why did I say that? Okay. One billion hertz. A unit of frequency equal to one billion hertz. Now, one billion hertz is apparently a uh, one gigahertz. Now, what is a gigahertz? Gigahertz. Clock speed is the rate at which the processor ex executes a task and is measured in gigahertz, G-H-Z. Once a higher number meant a faster processor, but advances in technology have made the processor chip more efficient, so now they do with uh, more with less. Well, I'm assuming, uh, I'm assuming 3.8 or 3.2 gigahertz is good, because that's like, uh, like 3 million 800 thousand gigahertz, uh, hertz. And isn't that right? Yeah. 3.8 is like... One billion, um, it's like 3.8 billion, I mean, 3.8 billion, uh, so that'd be 3 billion 800 million, uh, I made it wrong before, okay, I'm gonna stop this, um, part of the video, so, um, right here, um, for a small temporary bit, now, I've been realizing no one's been really re watching my comment, uh, my, uh, content, now, some of you might be wondering, why am I making this video all of a sudden, well, I've been realizing, 
I've heard tips on, on how to get more subscribers, and I've heard this. Now, my main goal is just to try to earn money, but once I earn, like, a million subscribers, it's not gonna re the money's not going to really matter to me anymore. It's just going to be like, okay, now, I'm, now I can pay attention to all of my fans. Now, I'll pay attention to my fans maybe after 100,000, like, maybe more. Now, I'm just trying, like, I've been realizing some people, like, haven't been watching my videos, like, I, no one's been watching my videos, and people have been questioning, which one's better, Xbox One, I mean, Xbox, or PlayStation 5? So I'm gonna, so I'm here to basically answer that. Now, I'm just gonna see how fast, uh, how fast is a PS5. How fast is PS5? Now, okay, I pressed that. How fast is PS5? A leaked video has revealed that the PS5 load times and, spoiler alert, they're extremely fast. The PS5 appears to load Spider-Man, uh, Miles Morals, in just 7 seconds. That's not pressing play on the PS5 home menu to the game main menu. From there, loading your saved progress takes under 2 seconds. Wow. Now we're going to take a look at the um, Xbox Series X. Now, Xbox Series X downloading speed compared to Xbox One. In one gigabyte internet, on one gig, uh, on a one gigabyte internet plan, the download speeds of the Xbox Series X average between 200 megabytes per second and 320 megabytes per second. I mean, that sounds, I'm not sure how good that is, but like, I'm just gonna say that's kind of good. I don't know, please tell- I'm not really advanced with this sort of stuff. But, like, uh... Now, let's see how- how strong they are. How... strong... is... the... PS5. Oh my god. People are saying the Hulk. The PS5 is armed with impressive specs for a console. Offering a AMD Zen 2 based CPU and a custom RDNA 2 GPU with over 10.28 TFLOPS of computing power. I am just going to assume there that that's good. Xbox Series X. With the Xbox Series X presenting a significant upgrade, it supports a custom GPU with 12 teraflops of power and 52 compute units running at 1.825 GHz. That's basically the most powerful graphics processing chip in any console to date, more than powerful than the one in PS5. That sounds good. Uh, if I can move this. Okay, that's needing to move out of the way. Now, how, uh, how good is the internet? Oh, internet is irrelevant. The internet, I'd say, is irrelevant because it really just depends on what, uh, what kind of internet, uh, signal, what internet server, whatever the heck you're running off of, like, if it's central or, like, some, or, like, something stupid like that. Um, I'm not good with stuff like that, but still, or, like, school internet, <laughs> that's kind of, like, a weird... Uh, that's okay, and then like uh now let's see here uh how much space space is the PS five six hundred sixty seven point two gigabytes that's uh that's good uh how much is Xbox Series X wow one terabyte okay so, the PS5 Disc and Digital Edition both come with 825GB of storage, the Xbox Series X has 512GB of storage, and the Xbox Series X has 1TB of storage. Okay. Okay, I might have read one of those wrong. Let's, uh, see how fast... Right, let's see how... Oh... Let's see here... What about how long does it take for how long does 
it take to start the Xbox Series X? Oh, it has 120, okay, let's go for it. How many frames per second? Okay, how many frame FPS is Xbox, uh, no, not Xbox One X, Xbox Series X, 120 FPS, Xbox Series S 4K, 120 FPS, and HDR, both the Series S and X can run uh, games at 4K. And both systems can reach a frame rate of 120 frames per second. Now, let's see on the PlayStation 5. Now, 120 frames, basic, same thing. All GT, all um, uh, PS5 games running at 125, uh, 120 frames per second. PS5 games will run at a variety of... Uh, frame rates including 60 frames per second also will uh, see also will all, um ps5 games be 60 frames per second um i kind of i'm not good at reading that fast or good or something like that or something i'm not i'm just not good at reading fast without messing up or without like uh, like doing it like without having to slowly do it I mean, I'm good, but not that good. Now, let's see here. Now, they both started out as five at 500 uh, uh, USD, I think. I, I think USD. They all started out. They both, um, both, um, all three, Xbox Series S, X, and PlayStation Five started at 500 uh, United uh, US dollars. How, uh, now let's see how much it is now. How much does, does it cost right now? Now the PlayStation 5 says, well, digital edition, edition, it uh, says, uh, 485.98. So that's, a uh, kind of expensive right now. Now, Xbox series x it cost uh well actually the series s starts at 300 so if i were to buy an xbox it would have probably been that one but uh the well whatever should i buy ps5 or xbox series x with more powerful hardware, a better design, a more comprehensive game subscription service, and a delightful controller, the Xbox Series X has the early lead in the next generation of consoles. Still, the PS5 has more <laughs> virtues than the Xbox Series X does not. That, then, whatever. I couldn't read it that fast. Now, uh, hold on. You heard some laughing, that was my brother, because he's being absolutely annoying at the moment. When I told him not to follow me. Now, we're gonna see here... Oh, wait, hold on. Now, let's look at the controllers. PS5 controller. Now, as you can see, these are the controllers. They're at $70 for right now, what I see. The AirPod ones are twenty-five, uh, around twenty-five dollars. So, these, um, this is what it looks like. Now, I'm not, I'm not used to PlayStation Five, but uh, PlayStation Five. But I'm gonna look at that whenever I get the time. Now, Xbox Series X controller. Now we're gonna look at that. Now there. Now, Xbox Series X has basically almost always had the same exact kind. See? Like, as the years gone by, there's almost the same exact type. It's almost the exact same thing. There's a keyboard one, look, which kind of looks ridiculous. But then you have that, which is a different one. The, the Elite thing. 
But then, like, PS5, let's look at PS5, um, uh, PS4 controllers, actually. Now, let's look at PS4. Alright. Actually, PS1, 2, 3, and 4 kind of have the exact same sort of look. Well, actually, 1. Let's look at 1. 1 looks like this. Oh, it's different, but not, like, giant difference, but whatever. Now, we're going to look at PS1. Now, PS1. Now, it looks like... It looks like that. I know what they look like because I've seen one. My cousin has one still. Now, two is way bigger and looks more advanced. But there's a few things in it that you guys probably don't know about. This is the PS3. My aunt has one. Uh, four. My cousin, I think, has one. And then you have the new PlayStation 5. Which looks awesome. But if you see six... There's, there's like, fan-made looks, but some people think, like, something like that thing, the, the PS5 Pro, well, that's, that's probably an actual thing out right now, but PS6, kind of, now, let's look at PS Vita, or Vita, or whatever, I don't care, kind of looks the same thing as the PSP, and the PSP looks like this. Now, the Xbox original, I own one. I own three different types of Xbox. They're all three. And, like, all three. I have this Xbox type. I have the 360 Slim. 360 Slim. Well, there's probably a different types, but, like, I have the one that's at the very top. Uh, I have that type. And then there's the normal Xbox 360. Which looks like that. My cousin has one. And then, like, the... I'm not gonna show them all. All the types, because there's, like, 100,000. Xbox One looks like this. Normal. Kind of like the um, One S. I think they all kind of had the exact same kind of look. I have the S, and there here's the X. I have the 360, the original, and the and the One. Xbox One X. Okay, there's a picture of the Series X, but that's not what I'm looking for. One X has a different kind. Like it's kind of like a little bit out on one side, and then you have. The Series X. Oh, wait, hold on. Here's, um, and then that's basically just a rectangle. A rectangular prism. Xbox Series S. Just different, kind of. It kind of looks like a speaker, to be honest. Well, that's it for this video. If you guys liked it, um, be sure to like this video, um, and hit the subscribe button. Uh, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.